click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we will see the dimensional analysis to find the conversion factor. Now we will see how to convert joules into arc. We know joules is a unit of energy. So let us start with that. E is equal to E that is energy we can take here half mv square means we will take here kinetic energy. Just find out what is the dimensions of kinetic energy. So half it does not have any dimension because it is a constant. Then we have a mass. Velocity we can express in terms of distance per unit time. So we have a distance per unit time and its square. Hence the dimension will be mass that is m will be 1, distance we will express in terms of length so and its power is 2 so L2 and then time that is T2 because it is a square bracket. So finally we can write down in this way L2 m1 and T is in denominator when it will go up this will become T minus 2. So this is the dimension of energy. We know we express energy in terms of joules and another unit of energy is arc. We have to find out how many arc means 1 joule. Now here we have joules is equal to n into arc. We know joules is a SI unit and arc is a CGS unit. This is equation number 1. Let us find out n is equal to joules upon arg. This is our first system and this one will be second system. Let us write down in terms of the dimensions. So the dimension of energy is L2 m1 t minus 2. But this is in the first system, so we will write down here L1, M1 and T1 upon second system that is L2, M2 and T2. As we have a same physical quantity, so its power will be same. So here power will be 2, 1 and minus 2. This is the value of N. Now just simplify this, here we have L1 by L2 its power is 2, just write down 2 here. Then we have m1 by m2, its power is 1 and then we have time that is t1 by t2, its power is minus 2. We know our first system that is SI system, so length is expressed in terms of meters. And L2 means another system that is a CGS system. So here we will write down centimeter. Its power is 2. Then mass. Mass in MKS or SI system is kg. And mass in CGS is gram. Its power is 1. Time. Time in both the units are same. That is a second. So S second upon second. Its power is minus 2. We know 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter. Hence, just write down here n is equal to 100 centimeters upon centimeter and its power is 2. Then we know 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 grams. Here we will write down 1000 grams upon grams. Its power is 1 and here we have a second, both are same, its power is minus 2. Now let us cancel out, this will get cancel out, so here we have 100 raised to the power 2, then gram will also cancel out, here we have 1000 and S will be cancel out, so this will become 1 and its power is minus 2. So, this complete term will become 10 raise to power 4, this will become 10 raise to power 3 and this is 1. 
So when we solve this, we will have 10 raised to power 7 means value of n is 10 raised to power 7. Substitute this value in equation 1, we have here joules is equal to, if we write down it properly, so this will become joules is equal to n erg. Substitute the value of n from above equation, we have 1 joule is equal to 10 raised to 7 erg. Hence, in this way we can convert joules into erg. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and please subscribe Ikeda.